guys, it's Lizzie. So today is gonna be a lengthy video because today I'm doing my September book haul and uh, last month's book haul was like eight books. This month is like over 50, so, oops. But if you guys want to grab a snack or do something because it's gonna be long, but I love long book hauls, then feel free to stick around, hit pause, Go get that snack, come back, and let's get started. So, Labor Day books sales got me good. Now, I do have two books that I did buy and returned because they just weren't that great. I do have book reviews for both of them, I'll link them down below. But they were Life and Death by Stephanie Meyer and Zeros by Scott Westerfeld. Read them, didn't really enjoy them, didn't want to keep them. So, those were the first two books I got. But moving on from there, the first book that I purchased is actually a bind up, and I got this at Target for like nine bucks um, during Labor Day. I don't know if it was on sale technically, but it's the Summer I Turned Pretty trilogy by Jenny Han, and it is the bind up of all three books The Summer I Turned Pretty. It's not Summer Without You, we'll always have Summer. Um, I've been wanting to pick up this trilogy for a while, but I didn't really want to have to buy each individual book, so when I saw this, I thought it's a great idea, although it is very very lengthy so hopefully picking that up soonish but also by Jenny Han I picked up to all the boys I've loved before um, I did get this at half price books um, because I wanted to read her other work as well I follow Jenny Han on Twitter even though I haven't read any of her stuff um, and she makes me laugh really hard with what she tweets a lot of the time so I figured picking up her stuff was probably a good way to go so I did pick up this also during the Labor Day sales, I picked up The Knife of Never Letting Go and The Ask and the Answer by Patrick Ness. Um, these are the first two in his Chaos Walking trilogy. Um, the only one I don't have is uh, Monsters of Men, um, but they didn't have it at first book, so I didn't pick it up. Also in trilogies, I picked up and didn't get all of the books in. <laughs> I have Numbers and The Chaos by Rachel Ward. I picked these up to read during the Diversathon, but I didn't end up reading them during the Diversathon. I am hoping to pick them up soon as they feature an interracial couple, and I think that'd be really cool to read. I also don't know anything else beyond that. <laughs> then I picked up David Levithan's Every Day. This deals with a main character that changes who they are every day by awakening in a different body and they end up falling in love with someone who they try to find every day. So I'm excited to pick this up in the future because I did pick it up to read during Diversivon and didn't get to it. Honestly at this point this isn't even separated by Labor Day sale and non-Labor Day because I have too many books to show. <laughs> then I also picked up The Remedy by Susan Young. This is by the same author that wrote the program and the treatment. I haven't read those books but I'm very interested in reading them and so when I saw this I thought I would pick it up as it has to deal with people that basically live as other people's dead children um, to kind of help them cope with grieving or whatever but I assume it turns into something else so I'm very excited to pick this up. You're gonna start seeing a lot of empty spaces as I pull things out um, but three books that I picked up during Labor Day sale um, I used to have on my bookshelf and then my mom said she wanted them back. So I picked up the Elite, the One, and the Selection Stories. They didn't have the selection, so I am going to have to get that still. But I love this series and I think I want to reread this before continuing with... Um, I have read The Air, but I haven't read The Crown yet, so I think before I pick up The Crown I might reread the whole series. But I love this series, so definitely wanted it on my shelf. Other things that I love and I picked up my own set of, I talked about these in my wrap up a couple months ago, I think it was my July wrap up, and that is the graphic novels for Twilight, and I said I'm gonna have to buy myself a copy of them, and I did, because they're wonderful. Other books that I have already read and I picked up because I wanted to own a set, I picked up all of the books in this, the Lunar Chronicles, except for Scarlet, because they didn't have it in hardback at Half Price Books, but I got Cinder, Cress, Winter, and Fairest, which I want to read those again, but I'm waiting until I get Scarlet so that I can just marathon the entire series. Another book that I picked up during the month, and I might have already talked about, but I can't remember, is This Star Won't Grow Go Out by Esther Earle. Um, this is about a girl, this is non-fiction, um, this is all of Esther Earle's journal entries and stories and things from growing up. Uh, she, I 
think she passed away from thyroid cancer. Yeah, at the age of, no, she was diagnosed with thyroid cancer at the age of 12. And um, basically this follows her before it and after it, before the diagnosis and after the diagnosis and just everything in between. And I have flipped through this a couple of times at bookstores and I just wanted to pick it up. So they had it on sale for I think like eight or nine bucks. And so I was like, you know what? That's the cheapest I'm gonna find it most likely in hardback. And so finally picked up a copy and will hopefully be reading this in the next couple of months. I talked about this in my Diversathon video, but I was at Target and they had a bunch of these like Illustrated Junior classics of some more Halloween-esque time stories uh, for a dollar piece. So I picked up The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, The Time Machine, and Frankenstein. And I'm hopefully going to be picking these up during October because I just feel like things that are going to put me in the Halloween mood. Uh, I picked up at Half Price Books, Glinda of Oz by L. Frank Brom, Bomb, wow, by L. Frank Baum, and this is Glinda's story after the Wizard of Oz leaves, I think. I'm not actually really sure where this fits in in the whole story plotline, but it was like a couple dollars, and I have been dying to read more of the Wizard of Oz world, just because I really like the story and all of that, so probably picking this up in the near future. I tweeted about this, but a family friend of ours is moving and they decided they wanted to get rid of some of their books. So I went over and I picked up a couple of books. I also picked up some cookbooks, but I'm not gonna show that in this video just because this video is already gonna be super long. But uh, the four books I picked up that I will show you are Made to Crave by Lisa Terkurst, I think is how you say her last name. But this is all about satisfying your life and your cravings through God and your relationship with Him. Um, and I thought this just sounded super inter interesting. Um, and I'm trying to branch out and read more about my religion and all these other things before my Holy Land trip. And so I thought this would be a good one to pick up and kind of process and all of that. So excited to pick that up. I also picked up Killing Pablo by Mark Bowden. Um, this is all about Pablo Escobar, and I have been wanting to watch the Netflix show, so I think I'm going to watch the Netflix show and then read this, uh, but I saw it and I was like, uh, yes. And then the last two books I picked up from them were The Old Man and the Sea by Ernest Hemingway and The Last Promise by Richard Paul Evans. I don't know a ton about this book, but I read The Inner Flap and it sounded really good, so I thought I'd pick it up. It is an adult fiction novel, I believe. And then... Ernest Hemingway, he had a lot of stuff and I want to read some more of it, so when I saw this I thought, hey, this would be a good one to kind of pick up to get into it. I somehow ended up only having the first three books in the Maze Runner series and I've been wanting to finally finish reading it, so I ended up picking up the Kill Order so that I could finish reading it, and this one still has the price tag on it for some reason. Um, I need to take that off, but uh, hopefully going to be picking up this series in the next couple of months. And you'll see I have a lot of books on this side that I picked up to finish series. So I grew up reading Maximum Ride and somehow didn't end up picking up the last two books, so I just need to read the last two books. But the last two books are Maximum Ride Forever and Nevermore, both by James Patterson. And I hate that they're not the same size, but this one is like only sold in this edition, so it's a little bit taller than all the rest of my books. But hopefully gonna pick up and finish the series, even though the movie looks like a hot mess in terms of casting, because they didn't follow character descriptions. Um, so I refuse to watch the movie, so I'm just gonna let myself finish the last two books, and I've heard this one's kind of a hot mess, so we'll see if I even like the last two books. But also in Maximum Ride, I picked up the first and the third Maximum Ride um, graphic novels because I want to read them, and I thought I picked up the second one, and I didn't, so I am still gonna have to find the second one before I can actually read these, and I don't know how many there are in total, so probably a lot, and I'm gonna be buying books for a while. <laughs> Two books that I talked about in my Diverse Fun wrap up because I read them during the month but I purchased them also during the month were This Is What Happy Looks Like by Jennifer E. Smith and Sweet Bloods by Pete, Pete Hoffman, I think is how you say his last name. Um, this is just a contemporary novel. I thought it was going to be something kind of different but it's a cute contemporary and I have read Jennifer E. Smith before so I wanted to pick up more of her work but 
Sweet Bloods was kind of a cool book because it featured a type 1 diabetic, which was awesome. Um, I'm going to talk about this more in my wrap up for the month, so keep your eyes out for that. Another kind of bigger book that I picked up and is daunting, but I kind of want to read it, is The Nine Lives of Chloe King by Liz Roswell, I think is how you say her last name. I've seen this at Half Price Books a lot of times when I go in and I never picked it up, but I finally read the back and it sounded kind of really interesting, so even though it is huge, I do want to pick this up in the next couple of months just to see what it's all about. It also apparently has a TV show, I don't know if I'll end up watching it, but I thought it'd be a fun one to read. Another book I picked up because I've read the first one and I want to continue reading is After You by Jojo Moyans. I know that that first book, Me Before You, kind of has a mixed feeling here on booktube. Some people really like it, some people really hate it, um, because there's the whole like ableism aspect to it. Um, I read the first book and I really liked it, even though I know that it has issues and it's not perfect, but I do want to know what happens in the next book because I'm kind of not sure how you can continue after that, but I thought I would pick it up and give it a read. So when I saw it at Half Price Books for like six bucks, I was like, you know what, let's get it. So getting into some that I picked up just to complete series and such, I picked up Peter and the Sword of Mercy by someone very, who's it by? by Dave Barry and Ridley Pearson. Um, this is the third book in the Peter and the Starcatcher series. I own the first two books, but I've only read the first one, so I'm hoping to just kind of marathon the series and see what I think of it overall. I don't know if there's more books after this, um, but I have the first three, so I might as well read them. Then I picked up The House of Hades and the Blood of Olympus by Rick Riordan. Um, these are the fourth and fifth books in the Heroes of Olympus series, which I now have all the books because part of them are my brothers and part of them are mine, but I've never actually read the series, so I'm hopefully going to be picking that up as well as finishing Percy Jackson, all of those in the near future because I have all of those. And I also picked up The Throne of Fire and The Serpent's Shadow by Rick Riordan. These are the second and third books in the Kane Chronicles, which I'm currently sort of reading the first book um, and really liking it because I wanted to see if I liked the series before I picked up the other two books because um, my younger brother didn't like them, so I wanted to see what my thoughts were. And I like it so far. That's going to start flickering again. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Um, I like it so far, so hopefully I'm going to like the series, but I haven't heard a ton about these on booktube. I think these are the last five books I have to talk about. And Hi guys, so I just finished filming, or so I thought, my um, September book haul, and I realized my camera shut off halfway through, so I don't know where this cut off, um, which is why I'm going to show you really quick just all the books that I got because I don't know if it recorded two minutes or if it recorded 16 and 30 seconds and shut off since um, I was filming for like literally like 17 or 20 minutes so we are going to just real quick just show you all the books that I got um, because I have 47 and I don't have time to refilm this entire video so we're gonna do it this way because it's the only camera I have on me that has battery apparently. So I got Nevermore by James Patterson, Maximum Ride Forever by James Patterson, The Kill Order by James Dashner, Cinder, Cress, Winter, and Fairest all by Marissa Myers, Empire of Storms by Sarah J Maas, Maximum Ride Volumes 1 and 3 graphic novels, The Old Man and the Sea by Ernest Hemingway, The Last Promise by Richard Paul Evans, Killing Pablo by Mark Bowden, Made to Crave by Lisa Tursk, Star Won't Go Out by Esther Earle, The Selection Stories, The One and the Elite by Kara Cass, The Remedy by Susan Young, Carnivorous Carnival, The Hostile Hospital, The Vile Village, The Austere Academy, and The Miserable Mill all by Lemony Snicket in the UK edition. The House of Hades by Rick Riordan, The Blood of Olympus by Rick Riordan, Nine Lives of Chloe King by Liz Broswell, Sweet Blood by Pete Hopman, This Is What Happy Looks Like by Jennifer e. Smith, Glinda of Oz by L. Frank Baum, Numbers and the Chaos by Rachel Ward, The Ask and the Answer and The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness, Peter and the Sword of Mercy by, by Dave Barry and Pearson Ridley, After You by Jojo Moyens, Illustrated Young Reader Classics, uh, the Brendan Jr. Classics 
of Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, The Time Machine by H.G. E. Wells, and The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson, New Moon Volume 1, Twilight Volume 2, and Twilight Volume 1 by Stephanie Myers and Young Kim, Every Day by David Levithan, To All the Boys I've Loved Before, and The Summer I Turned Pretty Trilogy by Jenny Han, uh, but The Summer I Turned Pretty, It's Not Summer Without You, and We'll Always Have Summer, The Throne of Fire, and The Serpent's Shadow by Rick Riordan. So those are all of the books. Um, I talked about them more in the original one, but as I mentioned, I don't have time to refilm right now because I actually have to head out and get going um, to the Dirty 30 premiere event video showing thing that I'm going to tonight. So um, those are all the books. If you want me to talk more about any of these, some of them I've read before, some of them I haven't, feel free to let me know down in the comments and I will talk about more of them in depth. If you like this video, make sure to click the thumbs up button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, by clicking that subscribe button, you'll get all five videos that I put up during the week in your subscription box, usually one Monday through Friday. And then I will talk to you in my next video.